So, to resume then, you have all reconvened uh, near uh, on that one dead end path. Dead end. Point, 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 point. This yeah, area yeah, over yeah, here. Thank you. Okay. Yep. On the dead end path. Um, it's the, right next to rune marker number five. As you look out farther, you can hear the clock all bong one more time, and it's now five long chiming sounds. Five bongs. Five? Five bongs. We're, we're, five bongs. Five bongs. Bong bong bong. And we're ready to go. Okay, fine. Six <laughs> bongs. Six bong groups? <laughs> they got six bongs. We only got seven bongs. Okay, it's six bongs, and the world outside has shifted. Uh, you can see the remains of Dome City's uh, uh, are seem to be crumbling upwards very slowly. Wow. Uh, endless volcanoes and lava flows dot the landscape. Wait, I thought this was a frozen hellscape. It's well, outside the mountain. So, you are all currently uh, by room marker number five. You're okay. by where five should have been. Okay, gotcha. So, also next to six. Hey, I'm gonna take some more of this dirt and see if I can see the runes. <laughs> like, that, if I can remember. You gotta, like, calm down. I'm not just... I'm doing lines. It's a small amount. You could just eat it. <laughs> you don't have to do a line. You just, like, seriously it, throw well, if I mouth. eat it, then it's no. gonna have to take time to digest. No, 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 if no, no, if you put it up your butt, it bypasses first pass a panic attack. <laughs> yeah. She would know. I would just, know. Look at the boondocks of a guy named like DJ. Are you gonna start shoving dirt on your hand? I got a trowel. This isn't the campaign I signed up for. <laughs> so, is there some people have that names now? Man, what's what is everyone's uh, current names? I remember my name. It's Gil. Yeah, I'm useless. Does Shock have a name? Yeah, I'm I'm Hagar the Copper Cooper. Hey, Hagar, Hagar the Cooper. Wait, do we have occupations now? Yeah, everyone gets your occupations. Oh, I already have my occupations. Can I get my language then? Sure. Oh, I was right. I am We're the butcher. Roll. You are the butcher. Meat. The chicken butcher. The halfling chicken butcher. That's right. I was right. Oh, how original. I know common. <laughs> Not rare. Guys, can oh, we can talk I, about can how I know, know the language line? instead? You know, demonic? I already and know. angelic. Oh my god, I need more. Like, I know. You're a fucking wizard. Sure. What do you think? I'm a higher fucking wizard. I know common, elven, hobgoblin, and semi Oh my common. god. I'm a very common I also am an elven artisan. I don't know what that means. I guess I just make elven things. Nice. I wonder why. Elven things. Describe. Guys, I, mean, I know lucky eagle. Roll. What's lucky roll? Don't get it yet. You know halfling. You can talk to him. You must have an eagle familiar. Lucky roll means whenever you try that thing, you roll two dice and choose the better one. Yeah, it was pretty lame. So it's strong. But of course, you might only get that when you rest. You're running out of rests. So, uh, yeah, you are all at the top of the peak. So, uh, what is, uh, what are you guys thinking? Where to? So what do you guys think is going on? Because we think something's going on with Santa or some shit. Santa's coming to town? Uh, guys, look at the place we're in. We're in a cabin, a toy shop, cookies everywhere, what spilled milk. Reindeer milk. Reindeer meat. Reindeer meat. Reindeer, reindeer. The recycling reindeer. Little mistletoe. Did you guys? Little slaves. That could have been ill. Little slaves. <laughs> Little slaves. Little slaves. Big slaves. And these frost giants just appeared and started taking shit over. Yeah, yeah I'm not sure where that factors in. Oh, Mrs. Santa Claus. Thing to do. Yeah. Have she's we seen been, a sleigh been in my yet? Dreams, have we seen a sleigh now? Mm. Yeah. yeah. So you're currently standing on the edge of what seems to be a, a big chasm. Across the way, you can see a door. Well, oh, the lady, the lady ran. Sorry, yeah. I ruined your thunder. It's okay. You I ruined it. your delicious thunder. It's chocolate. Well, this uh -huh. ominous door <laughs> seems to be calling our names, so we should go at it. We should but just run across. across a chasm. Yeah, but the lady, like, ran it, like it was MBD. Wait, who? What? What lady? Uh, so, Mrs. Claus? Mrs. Claus. <laughs> Wait. We saw, we saw a vision. Oh, wizard, can you see if there's any kind of, like, trick or something? Is there an invisible bridge? Yeah. Or can you love it? I think it's a no fear type of thing. I got feather This ball. is like Indiana Jones right now, isn't it? Where we just have to trust in, like, God. <laughs> trust in God. Or Santa. Or, or Baphomet, for that matter. <laughs> Baphomet ain't something. helping right. no one. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take, okay, first off, I'm gonna look to the right or left to see if it's just, like, a, a person. It's not a forced perspective <laughs> thing, no. <laughs> yeah. It's not just a painted I piece. throw a candle well, in Can I do the feather fall? Sure. Can uh, I just fall slowly the, if I'm wrong? Uh, the, yeah, when you throw the candle, the light seems to illuminate where the bridge is. Of course, then it hits the bridge and then goes out, so it disappears. But it's like a straight bridge. Not really. That's a 
windy, curvy road. Well, it's a good thing I have all of these bundles of wood that we can use as torches that we hold at our feet. I have heightened torches. senses. I can just lead the pack. Oh, yeah. Sure. You feel pretty confident about that. Hmm. Devin's just OP. I'm not OP. <laughs> <laughs> I cut wood for a living, Devin. This is me now. <laughs> I, also, I also have... Feather fall, so you know, yeah, yeah. cast that on myself just in case. All right, no, we'll so you can you. fall yeah. for the entire <laughs> Lead the way. Game. <laughs> um, uh, I tried it. Uh, yeah, I guess I'll just start leading the way. All right, sounds so, good. A, a, a handmade torch roll. from Steph and Hi. Just... roll luck, please. Roll luck. Oof, okay. <laughs> roll luck, please. It's never a good thing you want. You just never want to hear that. Oh my god, how Ooh, many ones baby. can we get this game? I did say I did feather fall. You did. <laughs> ones, roll, ones, roll, ones, make a spell ones, check, ones, please. Ones, 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 ones. It's time to find out how good a wizard you are. I'm hoping it's pretty good. Plus five. Oh, is it really plus five? Yeah. So it's so like unless you get a natural one, you're five. <laughs> <laughs> well, actually. Oh. Damn it! <laughs> you, you live. Yeah, Featherfall goes off, and you guys are able to grab him before he falls to his death. I <laughs> guess. <laughs> Watch your foot there, buddy. Thanks, guys. How about we do the fire idea? Yeah, let's do that. You didn't memorize the uh, path. No. Nope. You can use your walking stick, too. Oh, I do have this 10-foot pole. Sure thing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, if you want to use a 10-foot pole, you'll use it up. Just... Just, okay, you sure. Just use that? Sure. Okay. Yeah, so, uh, as, as you that. use the ten foot pole to tap the ground, over time, you notice a strange layer of magical rhyme building up on it. By the time you are able to lead the group across, it is completely covered in the stuff. One accidental tap, the thing shatters, so it's gone. Goodbye, pole. That was oh. ten feet of you. Do you have other weapons? Yes. Okay. Hey, can I have a hand axe? No. What the you fuck? My sword, though. You have successfully passed by the first war. You see still? this symbol on the outside of the door. Oh, I bet we have to put the ruins on the places. Where's that key? Here it is. Or we have to touch the. Wait, none of those ruins. Are there seven in here? Is one of them like well, a you don't have it in order right now? Wait, is it on the map though? Uh, might be. May or may not help. On the map. On the I map. think it's Reed. Read marker. <laughs> we now owe Nickelodeon one million dollars. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. That was rebuff here, rebuff rage, rebuff. What's a thump? Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, because yeah. that's the part that that fell apart, mm -hmm. fell out. So we would have to figure that out anyway. Okay. We wouldn't have gotten. So that would be talking. this one. Yeah. All right, well done, guys. With a little work and some careful button pressing, the second ward is now complete. <laughs> We are slaughtering a whole Just. plane of dwarves. Mm -hmm. I'm pretty impressed that we did this without harming ourselves. Yeah. How'd you guys get all those rings? I'm ready to By kill walking all around uh. in the snow and being really afraid of the world changing around us. We've watched uh, civilizations rise and fall within the past dawns. What? World sanity. <laughs> <laughs> the door after the dirt. <laughs> during. <laughs> All right, so you finally enter a large and dimly lit oval chamber. No. Oval chamber. Here. On the far side, there are two great statues That's a kitty. of hooded featured figures wearing robes covered with strange looking sigils, and they flank a sealed up doorway. Each of them carries a complicated instrument of unfathomable purpose. The ceiling soars above you and contains what appears to be a painting of a vast night sky. Filled with shining stars. It's a kitty cat. On the floor, there's a web-like pattern of uh, <laughs> colorful circles. It's a sack of toys. Fuck. Fuck. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Let's look up at the sky. Okay. What's up? You look outside, uh, and you see the sky. Uh, any constellations up there? Uh, <laughs> any so rowing? Constellations. Roll intelligence. Oh, man. Oh, I'm just not smart. Can I roll intelligence? <laughs> Do you have any intelligence score? Yes. I don't know yet. I don't think you get to. I, I feel like you you know now. How'd you do, Shady? I got 11. Mm. Can I, oh, do I have a intelligence I don't think of 12. So. I'm not that bright. Do it. Good luck. Nice. Uh, 17. Yeah. You get the sense that you probably have to. 
find a way to go from low to high, much like with the mountain you're at. Low to high? Low to high. Okay. Well, if we're coming in that way now. Yeah, so which direction are we coming in from? The bottom? The yeah. bottom. Okay. Um, the bottom to the top. If it has to do with the sky, then would you want to do it in, like, cold to hot? So, like... Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, so blue to... Red to yellow to white. Wait. No, There's different be, points. Blue There's, is like, two here and blue three here. Not, yeah. Does it have anything to do with that key we found? Don't think so. Okay. That's right. Well, what would the starting point be? That's what I don't understand. Um, we could all start at different points. How about we, uh, all right. All right, my halfling ass, dumb yeah. ass, is just going to step on one of these dots. <laughs> <laughs> all right. You I feel like that big red dot. Okay, you've been so high. far. I okay. think we're good, guys. I'm going to go the white dot. Well, that one's two white dots. Two white dots. You're still one, good? Two. Looks good. I think I think I got this blue dot. You're still good? Red dot. Uh, you the shell for. <laughs> <laughs> you're not good. Congratulations! Congratulations, Elizabeth. I took damage for this. The good science. Job, <laughs> Lay hands on him in the corner. So we Dude, don't I've see been him. laying hands all day. Lay your hands on me, boy. <laughs> yeah, let me lay hands. Do I have permission to lay hands on the halfling? <laughs> it's a it trial, was consensual. So. <laughs> the read. the well, door finally opens and you are prepared to enter the final ward. So five. You see a large door with a combination lock. The combination lock seems to be in five colors. Red, <gasps> blue, black, gold, and green. Huh. All right. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Instead of red, replace that with uh, orange. Orange. Yeah. orange is zero. Uh, I'm going to say that green is two. It looked like the goldy one was one. Yeah. A gold is one. And then the black is five. Blue is also one. And black is five. All right, good job, guys. Yay. I thought that was cool. That was great. <laughs> yeah, that was really cool. And... Why did I think this was really cool? Time. No more puzzles. No, <laughs> no more puzzles. That's not what the people want. We're out of puzzles. So you guys puzzle puzzle machine. Machine. walk into the world clock. The tunnel here climbs steadily upward. Above, there's a dim glow that reflects off of pale fragments of quartz scattered all over the walls. Above, there are huge lattices of white and blue crystal that soar to impossibly high heights. Uh, there are also a, there's also a light from some unseen ho uh, source at the distant ceiling. Uh, below, there's a forest of crystal blocks that erupts from the cavern floor. Opposite your entrance, you can make another ledge with a tunnel entrance similar to your own. There's also a set of stairs that lead to the ch into a chamber that leads to the floor down below, and one that leads off through the jumble of faceted, endless crystal ledges. Just so you know, that was a lot of description. Yeah. You'll live. Yeah, I zoned out like at least a quarter of the way. <laughs> yeah. You're in Crystal Town. Yay! It's pretty. <laughs> crystal meth? Okay, yeah. who wants to go down, who wants to go up? <laughs> there we go, sure. Up. Uh, we've been going up go Yeah, we've time. been going up. We need to keep Up, 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 up! Okay, you guys run upstairs. As you guys get to the top, it opens into a large, round chamber. Here, your reflection is split into hundreds of fractal shapes uh, in the faceted edges of the hall. Spaced evenly around the room, there are 11 other identical exits. Hmm. Could only be one. Was that copyrighted? No. Oh, cool. So there's 11 doors and they all... 11 doors were leading from where you are, yes. Like in a circle? So we just came from one. Like so we're, mm -hmm. we're door 12. We're door so 12. I, I feel like... Uh, do we have rope? We, we have had a 10-foot pole. What does we have? Like? We have candles. Yeah. We have a reindeer meat. Can we just, like, throw things down the hallways and see what's real? I suppose so. <laughs> what time are we on? Uh, spot. Yeah, I was thinking that too. Maybe we should just go down the clock. Maybe we have to go on what time it just was. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. That's exactly <laughs> oh. what was just said. Well, fuck <laughs> that. <laughs> Steph, we yeah. all, all I heard him ask was what time are we on? I didn't. So <laughs> we'll uh, look at which. Okay. Uh, is there anything on the floor that would indicate where? Only your the reflection of your sexy body. Gil's dumbass, halfling ass, motherfucker <laughs> is gonna go down door number five. Sure. Gil disappears. Hagger goes with him, okay. 
Gil, you walk into it, some sort of bizarre room that ends in a small chamber outlined in white stone. There's steps that lead up to, up to a, uh, what seems to be some sort of uh, big uh, uh, mural depicting a bunch of figures being spawned from a chaotic void. Oh, huh. hello? <laughs> Is this thing Anyone, there's nothing over here, guys. You can see yourself on the mural. Uh. That, that answers a lot of things. Is it a, right? a mirror? No, it doesn't. Mural. A mural of myself? Mm -hmm. You're part of the mural. <gasps> Look at this. Turn back time. <laughs> hmm. I'm gonna check Do out. I notice any of my party members? Yeah, there? you see them all here. Oh. oh, we followed you? Oh, oh no, we're all in the mural. mural. Hmm. Can I touch the mural? Yeah, you grew up at it. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> you touch your own junk. <laughs> yes. Don't get too fixated on the ball. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> but there's nothing in this room, really. Uh, except the mural. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna... What besides him is on the mural? Oh, yeah, who, who else? Oh, all sorts of fun stuff. I didn't. You're yeah. having trouble concentrating on any one thing, though. You see a lot of images of a bunch of creatures being spawned from an endless chaotic void and settling down to create a massive clock. Mm. You, what are you doing in that mural? Killing chickens. Okay, <laughs> that makes sense. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna leave this room. All right. Uh, you see him walk out the three o'clock uh, door. Huh. Three. Oh, wow. Nothing in the five, guys. Mm. But you just came from? Three to five. Oh, so we just have to go through which door and find out which one somebody doesn't come out of when they go in the wrong door. Can I guess Like if five one? leads to three and like two leads to four. Which one do you want to go through? One. One? Yes. Okay. You walk into the one. Okay. Walk back <laughs> out. Now what? Uh, you see yourself in a bizarre vision room. Uh, there's a room of natural, well-worn stone. In the center lies a pool clear with, filled with clear sapphire-colored water. Mm. Drink it. Don't drink it, don't drink it, don't drink it. Bitch, will you let me do my thing? Yes, okay, so I, wanna, <laughs> so I want to drink it. <laughs> so uh, I want to go look at my reflection in it first. And can I make some kind of intelligence roll or luck roll? I think I'll let you choose. Okay, well, I want to look into it and do an intelligence roll. Depending on what I see, I'm going to drink from it, and then I'll make a luck roll. Sure thing. Okay. <laughs> so, I got three on my intelligence roll. Drink up! <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, 12, so that's better than nothing. <laughs> cool, you feel pretty good about this. Okay, all right. I'm feeling good. Yeah, there's uh, nothing else in this room. Um. Well, there's a little bit less water now. Okay, all right. Well, uh... I guess I'm gonna go out the door. It's okay. good that you got some water to wash down all that dirt. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You see, uh, you, uh, like you, you see your warrior, warrior class. What's your class? Yeah, warrior. 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 You see one of the three warriors in the party. Oh no, I'm sorry. There's two warriors. I'm a wizard. I'm an elf. It's two more. That's right. I always forget that halfling is a class. <laughs> in the old days, like he's not a he's not like a fighter. He's an elf. Just an elf. Straight up. Okay. What are you going to college for? Being an elf. <laughs> Seriously, no. So my he, occupation is elf artisan. You see one of the, the warriors stumble out. She, uh, you can see blue liquid leaking from her lips. She does not look very well. Uh, what? Aww. Which one does she come out of? Um, she comes out of the six o'clock. One six five three. Or I guess you guys came out of the six o'clock originally. She comes out of the seven. So we came out of. We came out of twelve. Twelve. Fine. Sure. You guys, she comes out of twelve. Six. She, like came, go she, she comes out of, uh, shut your dicks up, shut your fat oh, garbage no. dicks up. She comes out of the seven. All right, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> That's okay, what I got. so no five, no three, no seven. Can I we, go out the door so that we, we came went in out, from? We you came in at 12? Yeah. Sure. Okay. All right, uh, when you wa walk into that door, you find yourself in a bizarre tool room. There's a bunch of crazy-looking objects that... Are just some bizarre technology that looks horrifying to use. Can I see if it's... Sure, yeah, roll, roll willpower, dude. What number did he just go into? 12. Twelve, the one we were just... Oh, we... fun. Okay. Willpower. Will is oh, a save. 19. Holy crap, wow. You resist the call to use them for dark purposes. Yeah. And you avoid using these bizarre, lethal-looking instruments. On the upside, you also get a... Uh, name an item in your possession. An item in my possession? A dire barrel? Sure. The next time you use the dire barrel, you count as having rolled a net 20. 
Yes. Nice. <laughs> Whatever <laughs> that means. Sword, right? You get a vision of you using the My dire barrel. Donkey Kong is shit out of this. <laughs> I'm not sure. Please throw it at someone and they just go into it and disappear. Yeah. <laughs> and then a rocket out of it. Yeah. Just in due time. All right. Can I go through the eight? Sure. Absolutely. You walk into what seems like a meditation room. Uh, there is a uh, a fire giant here and a series of imps. <laughs> I gotta get out of that room. I'm gonna again. sneak back out. <laughs> <laughs> what door was that? You, you walk out number seven. That was number eight. Eight head fire giants and imps. There's a couple X's there. What happens, <laughs> if, what happens if we go in seven? Okay, we have two, four, six, nine, ten, eleven. Uh, is that. Can we just all go into them simultaneously? Yeah. I go in. Everyone just run into our room. <laughs> I go in door number two. In door number two. Um, you walk into, uh, you seem to stumble, and when you're walking to door number two, you seem to be walking out of door number 11. It's a very strange thing, um, because when you walk into door number 11, you see your friends milling about. They're discussing, you can't seem to interact with them, and after a few moments, they all start to part, and time catches up with itself, and you, so after you see yourself walk into door number two. Uh, I'll walk into four. So wait, if we keep going uh, into number two, over and over and over and over and over again, we can reset time <laughs> far enough back where we can prevent, kind of like the Omega-13 in Galaxy Quest. <laughs> wow, oh, geez, old old reference. Reference. Need a Galaxy Quest reference. I mean, that's, you're not wrong. Which one you want to check out, number four? four. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, four. A frost giant with a whole bunch of imps. <laughs> <laughs> Fro cold imps. <laughs> cold imps. <laughs> Nega imps. Sure. So number four, you see what appears to be a gigantic. Uh, it, would you imp. think? So normally, <laughs> <laughs> just another imp. <laughs> <laughs> a gigantic imp. Guys, I'm, I'm gonna just pervert. stop going into doors. <laughs> so there is uh, what seems to be a digital display. Oh, fuck. What is going on? <laughs> right now it says 01379951780. Oh, and it seems to be ticking up constantly <laughs> at a scale of one second at a time. Zero. What was it at? Just it doesn't matter. Okay. That's you know, our time you know, thanks. <laughs> no, four is our time limit. Okay. We haven't gone through three. No, we it haven't doesn't. gone through five yet. We had someone come out no, of five. No, we've but... gone through five and we okay. haven't gone through three. Okay, so I See. want to go through three. What George did you guys originally come out um, come, of? Oh, Twelve. Well, you guys came out of 12, that's right? Mm. Okay, so when you're looking at, when you go into three, uh, you see, um, instead of going back, you see yourself going forward. And that oh. person disappears for like 10 minutes. Ooh. Doing the same Ooh. thing essentially, except Ooh. when they will come out, they will come out of five. Okay. So that plays with time as well. Who wants to go through six? <laughs> Shaka, you just look really disturbed. Like this ain't good. No, it's not good. <laughs> it's not. I don't want to hang out here anymore. Right, super powered six. barrel. You're gonna go through six. Know yeah. what to do with it? Yeah, sure. Going through six. Yeah, I'm gonna no. go through six. Okay. Just directly Gills. across from where you guys walked in. Gills. Fuck ass, dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> How an ass, motherfucker. <laughs> All right, you're going through six. You're going through the big one. Straight down the middle. Straight down the middle. I learned. Fuck that fire giant. <laughs> Wait, six was the fire giant? No, no, no. no, no, no. no. I'm saying another one was the fire giant. Eight, two was the fire giant. Eight, eight was eight. the fire giant. Yeah, eight. six. So you walk down six. The tunnel opens into a ledge near the very top of the cavern, which is weird because you don't remember going up this high. However, now you can see down all the way. The floor is hidden in the far darkness below. There is a huge crystal dome up top. It's refracting and amplifying thousands of images. Stars can be seen through it like a kaleidoscope, and all the crystals from below reflect up to it. It is highly disorienting. Through this crazy veil, you see suspended a single great mechanism. It's a vast sphere of circles within circles, all orbiting a central dark globe. With a dizzying realization, you realize that all these different bands are moving slowly in different ways. However, they're all going counterclockwise. There's a platform of rotating gears that goes around this huge fuck-all machine at the center. And uh, there's no obvious easy... Mm -hmm. Yeah, sure. It's, yeah, good thing there's some illustrations there for you guys. Mm -hmm. Oh, good. Okay. So it's just you, so good luck. <laughs> I ready my axe. There appears to be there's that there's that gear platform that surrounds it, yeah. and uh, towards the center, 
Uh, there seems to be, uh, you can see a, a massive giant walking into it with a, with a, uh, a teenage girl uh, slung over his shoulder. Oh, She's wearing some ill-fitting equipment. Oh, fuck that's that. the woman. Claus. Yeah. Mrs. Claus. Uh, so there's a giant. How far away is he from me? Oh, he's like a hundreds of feet. She seemed very content, hundreds though, feet. throughout the whole thing with what was happening to her. It, it seems she was pain about there being bridge young. Is, this thing, is it in the center of the room? No, yeah. unfortunately not. There's no bridge. So it's like, it, this thing is like in the middle of the room, and there's just a big old chasm around it. Yes. You might need the help of your friends, or some real big brass balls. <laughs> hmm. Let's just talk it out. Remember, Come you're on, a half you can't jump as far. Sheer dumb luck. I'm going to test my footing on the empty space. <laughs> you don't... No, it's not that... No, not again. No, it was a good try. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm going to go back. Sure. Get some friends. Absolutely. What'd you find? Nothing in six. <laughs> oh, in the third <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, and the very, the very, very last one, by the way, is the forge. Oh. I think I think we still have that. Yeah, wheel. we had oh, nine, ten, and eleven to go through. Oh. Yeah. Well, you guys came out of twelve. I don't. I uh, nine and ten. Uh, I don't have anything for. To be completely frank. What? What the? What a shitty fine. DM. Sorry. Mm, uh, fine. All right, nine Robbie, is just a can we cancel the production? <laughs> nine is just a disco ball. Nine, yeah, so you know what? Nine is just a big old disco ball. Ten is the other fire giant. Is another fire giant. Oh, gotcha, gotcha. He's here. Yeah, that, that fire giant is here, and he's wearing a big turban, and he's very stereotypical, and he appears to be drinking tea, and he's reading over some reports. I don't know how that reports? makes him stereotypical. Stereotypical. <laughs> fire giants? I don't understand. Fire Could giants and paper. It? Work don't really mix. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's just all burning up in his hands. <laughs> it's not efficient. <laughs> Alright, so let's go through six. Okay. Are you sure? He just said there's nothing there. Uh, I don't trust him. <laughs> <laughs> you were in there way too long. I don't trust you, dumb <laughs> ass. <laughs> okay. You, you walk into six and you get the same crazy description. Oh, okay, so there's so like a chasm in the where center. Where is Frost No, it's more like giant. you guys. In comparison to giant he walked thing. into the gen, the jet the black sphere at the center. So he walked over the void. He was thing. already he was already there's like a central ring area. Yeah, okay. actually, is this a map of it? Yeah, look at hey, look at that! Holy shit! There's a map. What? Holy oh, fucking dick! God. It's this one right here. Hey, there you go, guys. Where are we? You guys are at three three. Uh, uh, we'll bleep out the holy dick thing. Oh, here it is. No. Yeah. Why? Well, we've been swearing. Is this a, yeah, we've been swearing the whole time. <laughs> this is not a family friendly podcast anymore. That's the really safer work. The safer work vision is just ten minutes long. <clears throat> it's just the camera's just getting walked tested. into that damn orb. All right. So we can jump. To greet, we must ascend to the heavens. <laughs> Cast a spell on us. Mm -hmm. uh, feather fall. Okay, you. Oh, yeah, live. then we'll just blow that person into the ball thing. Uh, go ahead and make a casting roll. This might be a sacrifice. Send the halfling. He's <laughs> yeah, the halfling. Oh, like, just like, she could like throw me. Yeah, I'll gladly throw you. Uh, thank you. 19 <laughs> means a lot. What? Some good feather fall. Okay. You feel pretty good about the uh, about your featherfall spell. So I'm just gonna like sprint at it. <laughs> okay. Oh, you're doing it. No, we're blowing her. Him. <laughs> I think. Uh, did you what say you're doing? I didn't. I didn't. I didn't say what I was rolling for. You just yelled and rolled a natural one. <laughs> oh, like, you know what? You go for Well, either actually. way, I think you. I think you. You're out of dirt. That's exactly what you're going for. I, I th that's the crazy thing is that you ate so much dirt. You just it was you're just eating it like chips, you know. Like when you have girls with cookies, you don't realize how you go through a whole pack. You went through all the dirt. I mean, do you think this had something to do with the water that I drank too? One hundred percent. I'm just sitting on the ground crying. <laughs> All right, who, so who's feather fall? Did you feather fall yourself? I feather fall everyone. You feather fall the whole party. Everyone. All right. The whole party. All right. So Gil's dumbass. <laughs> <laughs> Let's blow him first. I'm a. I'm gonna take a big old leap off this thing, towards okay. this ring. Before you do that, perhaps you guys might have some theories about how to use all the time travel bullshit to keep you from. To keep you from not no. <laughs> <laughs> I just well, blow out my door. javelin, so he might. Kind of like grab it if he does portal. straight die. Wait, so if we use the the time, I want to knock this thing 
off its axis and somehow like drag it into the room that goes into you the past. You want to knock the axis of the world clock. <laughs> and drag it back. And drag it to the past. Can we talk I'm about the move Hobbit? the cosmic time to the past. You want to move the very structure of the cosmos. <laughs> I'm ready. But it's this I've had a lot of dirt today. <laughs> All right, so Jeremy is. Uh, Jeremy wants me to do some time stuff. <laughs> it's don't too late. Right. You're already but, mid-air. But how, how do we... I don't think you're mid-air yet. Right. But I, all of a sudden, we see our uh, past or future selves coming in the door behind us and. And saying, oh man, I can't believe we lost Gil because his dumb hobbit <laughs> ass jumped off a cliff. <laughs> okay, I just don't understand how those. How those, those the doors, doors work with. This situation. Yeah, I mean, it's not. It's gonna help us cross time, but not space. Yeah. I'm eager to hear the way that you could perhaps extrapolate all the crazy shit you saw down there. Does each door matter? E- each door has different abilities, except for the last two that I forgot to to make notes for. Uh, the fire goblin one too, or the fire imp thing. What are the numbers of the time ones that that? Fuck? Uh, two is to the past, three is to the future. Besides, there might be some very clever thing that you can do based off of what you've done in those. We just walked out. That's true. <laughs> so wait, there was the digital clock one that was counting down. There was the two time jumps, one forward, one backwards. Can we take the clock into the digital, into the time back one? I don't think we can. I think when we go through it, the time our said like the time paradox happens, and then we jump into it. You want to take the digital avatar of the cosmos? <laughs> there was. Wait, what was in the water room again? Just water. a pool of water. Shaka saw one that let him see the future. Uh, these two guys saw an item that let them see the future of, it, of an item. Wait, uh, of an item? We saw a mural. Oh, Could, right. Let's go back into the mural. Sure. What is it? What, can you describe the mural? beings made the time clock and how and what its purpose was. And then it shows us. It shows you guys, among other things. Doing what? What are you doing? Well, he was killing a chicken. Sure, roll intelligence, please. I think we're stopping the frost giants. Yeah, but, I mean, that's what I'm trying to figure out. Three. You dumb, <laughs> you dumb bitch. You see, you see a bunch of frost giants. Can I try the cat? <laughs> Alright, I'm... <laughs> Okay, that's right. So what we have to do... So <laughs> it was. So Can I just try it again? Super bad. I'm gonna assume I stared at it real long, and then I turned back and was like, guys, I don't know what the we fuck go it is. Into, right. Please. We go into, we go into, this is a shitty-ass plan. We go into the room with one of the frost giants. Fire maybe giants, no fire giants. There are Robert. frost giants. There's two fire giants. Two fire giant ones. Or maybe there's just one fire giant. Mm, mm, I'm mm, just going to try the mm. fucking beer real quick. <laughs> <laughs> was was it a frost giant? Um, it was to like stack them up and then the just run up them. <laughs> I'm out. <laughs> yeah. I really love that. I'm so sorry. Really like, you were just so sad about it. Like, please. <laughs> please try it again. What if there is only one fire giant, though? Can we talk about that? What, what does that mean? What does it matter? Maybe he's a good guy. Maybe he's present in two spots at once because of the trouble, but it's really 20. only one of them. Oh. Maybe, maybe we could just ask him what he knows. I'll tell you what. I'll, let you, I'll, give maybe... you, I'll give you one more dirt hint if you want. But you just you said I was out. Well, you you were you overdosed on it, I think. But, <laughs> but I'm really just giving you the residuals. You know how when you get super high, you're kind of high the next day, too? <laughs> Wait, what does my hat do? I yeah, what does my spell hat. book do? What does my hat do? Oh, the spell book? Yeah. Un- or unlock the rest of your spells. Fuck. Now that, you're not, your now, that you're, now that you're not being eaten by a bunch of slime mold, you're like, oh, wait a minute. What <laughs> am I doing? Hat, <laughs> your hat? Yeah. I got a special hat. I almost died for that. Oh, right, the special hat. The special hat lets you ask uh, Baphomet one question. Baphomet? Fuck that guy. 
<laughs> does me so dirty. I throw the hat into the chasm. <laughs> no, wait. I throw the hat at the at the world clock. How about that? Okay, so Just to see what happens. What is, what is, you hear a weird grinding sound for a moment. <laughs> what is Raven Feebleman? You weaken somebody. Okay, force manipulation. It's telekinesis. Awesome. Oh, uh, forget. just telekinesis huh? one of us over there. Forget. Mind control, I guess. Yeah. And strength. What does it sound like? So it just gives people strength? Yeah, absolutely. Makes them strong. You should telekinesis one of us over to the thing. Uh, so, hey, How? do you guys want one possible hint? I have second sight. Yes. You do. I do. I could use that, right? You foresee yeah. yourself using that barrel. Do, do any of that? Right now? Okay. Oh, it just in the future. Can we just put him in the that, barrel? That is the all, all barrel. That is the all barrel. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> uh, uh, barrel, it's an all barrel. Yeah, it's that a barrel, barrel the purest, of holding. Yeah, it's the purest expression barrel of magic. creation. Also, let's be honest here. There's only one thing that you've seen, gotten the vision of, and that's the barrel. <gasps> okay, okay, okay. So we all... So he throws the barrel. We travel back in time and put ourselves in the barrel. Done. Okay, that was a good fucking idea. No, that was good. Yeah. 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 I was just processing it, I'll be completely honest. It's yeah, it's just like, like wait, wait, what? <laughs> and it's a nat 20, so when you use it, That's true. you can it's gonna throw work. it, it's going to work. But none of y'all asked if you could use my barrel. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't done it yet, Shaka. This was like one of those like Ocean's Eleven thing where yeah. we start talking about it and then and then you all happens. look at me for my precious yeah, barrel. Yeah, and you're Don Cheadle, and you go, "Well, guys, thanks, <laughs> thanks a lot, <laughs> thanks a lot." <laughs> nah, <shit. laughs> but if you can throw a barrel, why can't you just throw us? <laughs> He gets well, the next one. Is the I suppose 20. that mark might work too, but I like the barrel idea of it and then net twenty more than just throwing Have someone like. Have you noticed how we've been rolling today? We need You've a net trouble dirt. right now. <laughs> what does that have to do with anything? <laughs> yeah, you're a dirt eater. I don't know. Dirt eater. <laughs> dirt in your mouth. I'm a great digger. Can what I? else do you think I'd be doing? Some time. That's you better myself. start digging because yes, we're about absolutely. to fuck You're ourselves pretty hard. Well, I don't think they're the same. You're a wizard, not an elf. I'm just a butcher. Hey, everyone, unlock your, unlock your level. I think everybody's level barrels. four, but I'm curious. Ah, uh, yes. Yay. The fate of the world and the very universe our levels. rests in the hands of a <laughs> halfling chicken butcher. Level four. Five, motherfucker. I'll build the butcher. Are you level five? Yeah. Holy shit. Wizard I'm so staff. good at cutting wood. <laughs> I got a wizard staff. Oh, nice. That's a spell. That's <laughs> magic shield. Levitate. Fuck yeah. So <laughs> After we already have this overcomplicated time travel plan involving a barrel, you're like, oh, I guess, well, it's too late, guys. Still oh, have yeah, to barrel. Could... All right. I still have to sacrifice my barrel. Yeah, I don't think it's, it's not sacrificing it. It's, asc it's ascension. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, you gotta think of it like from Baphomet's perspective. If the barrel goes, we go. It's we're not trying to like disintegrate the barrel. I was born with the barrel. <laughs> you're gonna die with, with the barrel. barrel. And you're telling me to die right now with my barrel. Wait, no, isn't that the original barrel? So you got a new barrel, the dire barrel. I think I have three barrels. <laughs> <laughs> you put a barrel in the barrel, and now this barrel's in the no, I haven't barrel. made one yeah. barrel. This is Machioska game. barrel. Some <laughs> <laughs> Tristan <laughs> Brand barrels. name. <laughs> Oops, sorry. That's all right. So I yeah. so we have to the use the idea. time. All right. So you chuck the barrel over. It lands perfectly. It is beautiful. It brings a tear to your eye. You can hear the low, rumbling laugh of Baphomet somewhere in the distance. Mm. Everybody runs downstairs to the go-back-in-time 10 to 30 seconds. After several sprints through it, several very difficult sprints through it, narrowly avoiding, if we had more time, I'd make you guys do some rolls, but it's bullshit. Narrowly avoiding the fact that if you could take one wrong turn, you go into the fire giant Terabad place. You guys have gone back in time five minutes. Just enough for you to jump into the barrel as he's still lugging it around. And we're pretty sure that he says, man, why is this thing so fucking heavy? <laughs> it's all that meat. All that meat. All the meat. <laughs> Inside the magical, several seconds later um, of subjective time, you emerge covered in meat uh, and uh, <laughs> wearing a new pants. pair of pants. <laughs> <laughs> you can fit in those pants. Those are dwarf pants. I'm a halfling. Yeah, so they fit so you really the well. There, there's well, a little bit of room. Isn't half No, they were, they were too small on him. They were skinny jeans on the okay. dwarf, so they're... they're right, I'll take the pants, whatever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't give a shit about the pants, Jeremy. I'll get too fixated on the pants. <laughs> <laughs> you are now standing on the correct side of the platform just by the world clock. What do you do? We could have just bought, like, an army of ourselves, couldn't we? Like, just... I don't think that would have been... We could have made, like, a daisy chain of ourselves. Clone ourselves. It's too late. We used the bear. 
barrel, guys. Let's Jonas, move forward. Throw the barrel back over. <laughs> okay, so I would have can to we touch it now? <laughs> Absolutely. When you touch the black sphere, you find that it's like a liquid, and you can move through it. We wow. need to go save that bitch. Let's drink it. Mrs. Santa? <laughs> yeah, she opened his box. Did we become time see. itself? <laughs> I wish to become the universe. <laughs> <laughs> Give me a glass of time, please. I don't want to be a chicken butcher anymore. <laughs> I just want to control the universe. <laughs> These stats are weak. <laughs> yeah. I scratch off the I guess you guys can scratch off the rest of anything else now. Mine is yeah. one strength. Oh no! Everybody, you can scratch off the rest oh, of your stats. Man. Plus two strength. Here, let me. Uh, Minus uh, one stamina, 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 though. Do I have to crit? Minus one to personality. Uh, that, I am the world's most boring so, person. So, yeah, if you crit, you roll an extra d10. Can I do Yay! I'm not yeah. completely Everybody, useless. I got some personality. Unlock the rest of all your gear. I was born on the battlefield. Is that one of your? Oh, oh yeah. yeah. I was conceived on a horse, guys. <laughs> like oh. it's supposed to give me advantage Definitely on yeah. mounted attacks. Oh wow! Oh, thief plus one. Hey, I didn't design these sheets. <laughs> what? There's no, there's no horse. What's a, what's an action? Guy? <laughs> John, okay, okay. So he's supposed to mount the attack rolls, of which there are no mounts in this game. <laughs> oh wait, I could have, I could have <laughs> wrote a, a dire wolf, right? <laughs> like that's just you so cool. Like, yeah, Your giant. thing is just uh, objectively useless. He did jump on the like, the. It's absolutely. <laughs> like it's just just and the dire wolf. And, oh, yeah. I mean, I guess so, but I first have to tame the damn thing. <laughs> It'd probably eat me. <laughs> By the end of the quest, guys, I found the mount. Oh, I was so legitimately the most boring character ever. Why? All right. All right. Personality yes. minus one. Oh, intelligence zero. Um, I, plus one. Stamina minus one. Skills, agility zero. I would like to cast two. blessing of I mean, I'm a on yeah. myself. All right. Sure. Make a spell ch- casting roll. But what's your spell casting mod? Six. So twelve. So that's enough, man. You are. You burn with rage. <laughs> what's an action die, by the way? Luck mod. I don't roll. know okay. what it does. The rules I couldn't pay for. Just read the quick start. All right. But for real, I want to drink a little bit of this liquid stuff. <laughs> yeah, I'm going into it. Okay. Hey, we got that! <gasps> it's the wooden thing! Circle. It's the Circle wheel that wheel. we care about wooden way wheel. too much. Yeah. I Who has the wheel? Turn back it's back time. at the place because we didn't want to carry it. We weren't. What the fuck? Whoa, 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 whoa. If I would have known that, I literally would have said that we were carrying it. I assumed we were carrying it this whole time. So oh, everybody so. roll luck. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to cast a spell. It's real quick. Force 14. manipulation. I bring it from where it is. <laughs> 18 is you remember that you actually destroyed it. 13. That would have been so fun. Hey, yeah. how convenient. Diggler has the has the wheel. Oh, I put it in the barrel. She put it in the barrel. Good thing it's in there. The barrel. The yeah. Barrel. <laughs> Praise, <laughs> barrel. Praise our barrel. The barrel of Can I put some of that um the time juice time juice into a barrel? <laughs> That you put in the barrel. Oh, yeah, I'll, I'll put it in the pot. Yeah, you got uh, the time juice. <laughs> we got the time juice. <laughs> I seal it up and I just pack it away. You have a fine pot, a, a mason's jar of the stuff of eternity. Congrats. I can't wait to just dump it in someone's face. <laughs> Watch how you die. <laughs> you can pickle whatever you want with this bad boy. <laughs> you can make some Best radishes. pickles ever. Yeah. Why the fuck is a world pot right next to my village? <laughs> Yeah, it's nowhere near the village. Oh, okay. It's like a We don't place. even have the concept of a village anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Who am I, really? <laughs> uh, as you guys, uh, you guys can see that the stars above have all sort of started to go out. So, uh, the clock, uh, the clock that you saw reads a bunch of nines, what you saw earlier. So, uh, you walk through and inside, it is not a super great scene. At the center of the chamber is a perfectly formed 50-foot sphere of shimmering pale blue light filled with tendrils of silvery mist, and there's uh, bands of colored stones. Hanging within the mist is the grandmother, now, like I said, 12, 13, seemingly asleep. With shock, you recognize the same features. It's definitely her, including the gloves, which are now far too big. There's a great big blue skin giant with a long flowing white beard which stands on the platform next to her. And he's flanked by a pair of big Jotun guards. Huge giants, each of them with an enormous axe. Outstretched from his hands 
is a coiled metal staff, which seems to be forged from some from a, a twisted gear, one that's now missing. What's it made of? Uh, it looks like it's made of metal. Any t- any specific? Iron. Pot, iron pot. There's an enormous uh, eight-legged wolf at his feet. Yeah, eight-legged? Ra- eight-legged eight so eight so eight eight wolf at his feet. Shut up, don't judge it. it raises its head and growls as you enter the room. What do you do? Yeah, Can I cast Rave? Uh, uh, rave of enfeeblement. Sure, if you have a good one liner for it. And you, you can just do Sean's, to be honest. What? Did Sean have one? We did not hear him. I laughed at it. <laughs> I, said, I said you'll bust in and you're like, you'll have like a backwards baseball cap. And like, <laughs> Check out the six, 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 drop, 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 drop. And then that's when the bass drop. Drop the bass, the bass, the bass, the bass, the bass, the bass, the bass. 20. You zap the wolf. It falls to the ground while still alive. Melty. It looks sleepy. He couldn't handle the party. What do you do? That crew goes hard. So drop the bass, not the wolf. Alright. Drop the bass, drop the kill, dude. Drop the bass, drop, drop, drop the bass. Oh, you're asking me? Mm-hmm. Uh, shit. What's your wizard's name? Yawn. Good old Yawn. You guys know Yawn. 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 I'm gay for Yawn. <laughs> <laughs> we should use these in every RPG. Diggler is so much better than like. Dude, I just like gave up trying to know my name. Like the moment the dwarves but called me the Diggler, the Diggler, I just went with it. It's the Diggler. It's the Diggler. This is who I am now. <laughs> Do it. No. <laughs> I'm gonna try major corruption. Major? Okay, sounds good. Oh, there's an explanation point next to it. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. What that means. I'm just assuming that it's do magic missile. I was just gonna corrupt the The exclamation mark means you need to yell it if you use it. I made it. Yeah, that's correct. (laughs) That's how it works. (laughs) Then roll the die. Not this one. Yell it. Major corruption. Fifteen. Yeah. Fifteen? Holy shit. Okay, the wolf's gonna make a will save. Oh, it's a nine out of three. And what's your intelligence score? 16. Holy shit! Okay, the wolf turns inside out. Huh. And it exploded. Corruption is that? Jesus. All right. Is it because of the enfeeblement, or was it just major crap? Correct. Okay, so oh. the two Jotun guards step forward really slow. Okay, Hans, we're going to smash them in half. You're right, Ragnar, we're going to smash them in two. Uh, the, they walk up to you two, the squishy wizards, and each of them raises their axes simultaneously. Shall we? Yes. One, two. Agility. All right. Five and fifteen. So wow, one, one of them is cool. How many really points do you have? I have nineteen. That's good. Eight. Actually, yeah, it's a D twelve plus a D six. So I get a AC. There's no AC <laughs> in this game, silly. It says AC in the top right. There's a reason it's blank. <laughs> because we have armor. I have armor. Uh, if you have armor, you reduce the damage by one. All right. Well, I do. Just good because you took sixteen points of damage. <laughs> Four left. No, they missed you. Thank what God. do you do? <laughs> Those are big giants, right? They're big giants, but there's the bigger. There's there's Mr. Claus himself is in the back. Does he look evil? What does he look like? He looks like the Krampus. If oh. he was a blue giant. I'm the, wait. Hold on. I'm worshiping the Krampus right now. How how is how are they going up against me? Okay, you're right. Uh, it's the the Kringus. It's Sandy Claus. You can't fucking change the the the, 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 the verb. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'm gonna try to climb up on the back of one of these guards. You can use your mount, it's the your mount of combat bonus. It's the the mark. Mark. Let's just do that because I can't use it anywhere else. Roll two, pick Sub one. Flip <laughs> table. Sub. Thirteen. Uh, okay, a- add your agility. Dead. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> <laughs> I think he's gonna. Okay, so I think he just throws you off. Itch. All right. Uh, we'll look. <laughs> Lucky boy! So, you are inches from getting flown through the black mist and off the platform to your definite death. Instead, you only get stuck between the gears. Whoa. You take three points of damage as you, and, you, when you're, and one of your shoes gets cut off like an elevator in all your bad dreams. Or escalator. That's the one. Yeah. What do you do? Uh, well... <clears throat> Yeah, 
so <laughs> I don't know what mighty deed of arms is, but I'm gonna hope I'm gonna hope that it makes me stronger at swords. Uh, I think it actually is. From what I read, if you call somebody out specifically um, and challenge them to a one a little one on one. Some basketball. I do have an improved threat range. That means you crit um, on a 15 or higher, not just not a 20 or higher. Okay. Um, that's cool. <laughs> I'm gonna do that. Which, what am I looking up? There's Krampus, and then what's in front of him? There's okay. What well, we should give? We should give the Krampus. The, there, there's there's. So you want me to use Krampus? It's fine. Continuity. Okay, okay, so right? so there's <laughs> so yeah, there's the Krampus. The evil Jotun, the boss of it Maybe all. Maybe you were actually praying to Santa this whole time. I thought you just said he was Santa. Okay, this campaign's <laughs> over, guys. <laughs> we're so close to the end. All right, uh, there's the big bad. The big bad. And then there's two guards, Ragnar and Olaf. Which which um, guard is most... Neither one of them has taken any hurts oh, whatsoever. Fuck me, okay. We killed the wolf. They, killed, they turned the, the wolf inside wolf. out. Um, okay, I'm going to specifically call it a that. wolf. I'm oh, going the to dire wolf. Go, which Olaf and what was the other one? Ragnar. Yeah, I don't like Ragnar. Go fuck him up. I'm gonna fuck him it's up. Hans. What do I do? Hans or is it Hans and Ragnar? Thanks, second story man. We'll edit that in. We'll just we'll just have have the we'll ADR it. I don't like Ragnar. Neither do I. <laughs> what am I rolling? You're rolling a D20, adding your attack bonus and your. Ideally, you have some sort of badass quote because you are, after all, challenging them to a duel. My attack bonus is a plus D7, so I'm going to roll this plus D8 again. Why the fuck do they have D7s in this <laughs> game? Because no, I'm the dumbest character. I don't understand this game. All right, and eight's a reroll. Maybe they randomized it. <laughs> so. All right, four. So 18 uh, plus crit. my mixed deeds of arms. What's your critical die? My critical die. It's uh, Didn't you say it was top left. left. No, no, no. <laughs> Uh, it's 1d24 divided by v. What does that mean? <laughs> I, you've got to take a d24, which doesn't exist, and divide it by the velocity at which you roll it die. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mine's 1d10 divided yeah, by 11. Oh, is that 11? No, I got 1. I don't know. I don't fucking know. L. Roman 5, 2, two. <laughs> two. Why didn't they just say divided by like the number rather than the Roman numeral? What the fuck? Yeah. Oh, so it's the Roman numeral. Yeah. Well, mine is a four. In Mine's Roman a three. Room. Yeah. So. Okay, that makes sense. I thought it was one so over roll uh, a, a so D twenty. So you do your no. normal damage, which is a D ten, and I guess a D twenty. How would we calculate a D twenty four? A twenty. A twenty and a four. If you really a want. D4 and a D4 and a D4. Yeah, just sure. That. Sure. It's tough thing about this too hard. Divided by two? Why is it divided? So we've got 11. Okay. Oh, it's table. Table three. Oh, there's good critical tables. We don't have time for that shit. Fuck that. <laughs> you just don't have it, do you? No. <laughs> <laughs> no. Whoops. Uh, so what am I doing? I got a, an 11. Now what do I roll? 11 damage uh, plus the 1D24 now. Oh, that was the D24. Oh, then just to do a D10 of normal damage. A D10 of From your sword. What? You did a crit damage and you're doing normal damage. Oh, shit. Four. Cool. So 15 damage. Um, I think uh, you'd knock off one of the giant, the, the lower half of the giant's face. His, he's missing his jaw right now. Uh, you can see uh, lots of uh, hot ice dripping from it. Does that make sense? And it's Ragnar, so he goes, hey, hey. Well, at least he can't whisper any commands to his Buddy. other That's friend. true. Hagar. And then we're not going to be. It looks like I gotta save the world. Eating. What do you do? Looks like I gotta save the world. Well, um, you're gonna help. I'm going to. I might, might want to use. Distract him. Distract him. I I scream at the. <laughs> I was just kidding. Don't do it. It's too late. <laughs> <laughs> I look at the uh, giant that. Or are there? They both distracted. Uh, they're both trying to mess up these guys, actually. But one of them's distracted by her. Yeah, you could heal me. I'm, I'm pretty bad with her. I don't know where I am in the room. I think I'm still in the entrance. Sure. Where are you? Peace, motherfucker. Like Doesn't ten matter. feet in front of you. Um, I guess I'll I'll yell at both giants. Um, hey, giants! I I fish into <laughs> my pockets and barrels and I pull out. A dildo. The part I didn't write it. It's <laughs> <laughs> possible, but fa- fa- my God has given me a dildo. <laughs> and I whip it out out of like confusion, <laughs> but <laughs> I didn't know I had this this divine dildo. 
as it wiggles in the air, <laughs> I challenge them to a duel. A dull duel? <laughs> a dull, dull duel. It's a stupid one. Challenge me to a dildo duel. <laughs> Can I roll personality? I think so. I think so. Damn it. Dildo. My dildo has failed me. So <laughs> 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 um, Seven. Pretty lucky. <laughs> Yeah, you know, so here's one other rule I do know about. You can permanently burn luck to add that much to your rule, l- roll. Yeah, let's do that. So if you want to be unlucky for the rest of your life, you could burn, say, what's your luck score? Negative one. Do what's your score? <laughs> eight. You can burn eight points and add eight points to your roll. However, yeah. You, you... yeah, I'd love to do that. Let's do it. All eight. Lucky dildo. You know Number we're not one. done yet. You might die because of that. Uh, I am a simple pooper. <laughs> I knew I was expendable on this trip. <laughs> I think it's just because Bapa <laughs> Bapa Mutt has ruined my life. And I've given him everything. And all I get is a dildo that doesn't phase any giants at all. They don't even bat an eye at me when I'm You're waving like, this no, thing. I mean, that's, mine's like twice a <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's okay. like the size of their pinky finger. Okay, so it's the final roll if you add eight to it. If I add eight? Yep, plus... if you burn all of your luck. Seven. You, that's the equivalent so of breaking like, 35 mirrors. I get 15. Which is not good. <laughs> Wait, what? No way. 5 plus 2 for my um, personality. Oh my god, I it think is plus Ragnar eight. and Hans are intrigued. <laughs> They're distracted. Guys, go. Come on. They're going to turn on me. Okay, I'm gonna going next. Ugly. I know what I want to do. Okay, so which, how, how tall I'm so are they? Like, I really want to go at their balls and christen them with this my is story. A very, uh, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's the session went a little blue. As they say in the biz. (laughs) But, uh. What does that mean? It means like scatological. (laughs) I don't know what that means either, so fuck it. It means like poop and fart and dick and dildo. (laughs) Oh my god, those are my favorite. (laughs) Mine too. Okay, Sylvia, I think they are exactly the right height for. I don't want to say the same name. Ball fixation. Yeah, yeah. This is what I want. Holy ball? Don't fixate too much. For the celestial. For the (laughs) the celestial. (laughs) The holy castration. Okay, go ahead and roll it, Sylvia. To cast right? Yeah! What am I. What am Base I? attack. So you right, roll that and then d6. Alright. Okay, so I got a 12. Is that enough? I'll, I'll give you a choice. Okay. It is enough, okay. but you will take damage. Or it is not enough, but you do not take damage. Oh, I don't mind taking it. Good. Wait, are they like trying to step on me, or like are they trying to stop? Let's find out how me? much damage they do first. How many hit points do you have left? Uh, thirty. Hold on! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she's only taken like two damage this whole time. What class is she? A, a warrior. warrior. Remember, I'm a grave digger. I've seen shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, I mean, there's six Uh, you, you slap the, that, the, the one bald giant into nothingness, <laughs> hitting him with a corruption spell that makes his flesh boil and his eyes uh, and his eyes turn to mist. What a way to go! <laughs> he falls to the ground. However, in his dying uh, flails, he hits you with his massive axe. You are thrown through the air into the black mist. You can feel yourself being torn in many ways. When you uh, emerge back out, you are twelve. Cool. <laughs> you cannot lift your equipment. Oh boy. <laughs> Wait, I don't have much equipment. I have clay that's one pound, a staff, and padded. That's that. All of which are too big for you right now. 
You can see your friend, um, little Ural, little, little Fern, little, little Fern is now, uh, is now a child and is trapped in his own equipment. Can I, uh, can I still cast? No. Why not? Because you're a child. I still know. You're right. You can just cast child spells. <laughs> All right. I'll, I'll do. Y- your magic isn't strong enough anymore. I'll, no, I'm going to go to her. Her. It's her. That's it's the wizard's thing. turn. Mm-hmm. Then I'll be a 15 year old strength. We'll double. <laughs> so there's one giant left. And the big man. And. Well, the giant, the one Chris giant Kringloss. left is, is yeah. maimed and almost killed because she. Oh no, he was killed. What is Kringle doing? No, wait, what? Um, you like boiled his face <laughs> and no, I no, I, can, him. I, I did the other one. Oh, oh, okay. In that case, there's one ball still left. There's still one ball. What's what is Kringle drop? doing? Uh, it looks like he's reaching out to touch uh, grandmother with uh, some sort of massive iron. So wait, since I went back in time, do I not? Am I like full on health too? Sure, that's fun. That's a fun idea. Yeah. That useful vitality. <laughs> She's t- attempting some ceremony with her. Are you we gotta stop her. His wife. I'm gonna use force manipulation on Kringle. Okay. Kringle's hand. Is he anywhere close to the edge of the? <laughs> uh, I think he probably is. To be honest. I want to, like, force his hand towards the mist and maybe give him, like, child hands so he can't. (laughs) (laughs) Sure. No, that's good. Go ahead and roll, make a spellcasting roll. I like that a lot. Here we go. Mr. Will. Holy shit. Uh, Holy shit! Why is she so good? Because she's a wizard. wizard. I'm a wizard, Harry. Uh, all right, so you knock his hand. He drops the staff for a second. You knock his hand, him into the mist halfway, and when he emerges, he's got like a little whittle, a whittler hand, a little old baby hand, with one arm <laughs> grotesquely smaller than the other. That's exactly what you wanted to do. So my man. that hand cannot make the magic happen. The other hand. <laughs> And maybe it's just not. There it's are. Just, not there's just one thing. <laughs> you one very loud piercing bong. What do you do? Uh, okay, so I'll take off my hat and I whisper into it. <laughs> Please, Baphomet. I am but a simple butcher. <laughs> All my life I have been weak and useless and nothing. <laughs> Please give me power in my time of need. <laughs> you hear a response. You know that it will come at great, great pain. <laughs> yes. Do you see a future killing chickens? But that's for tomorrow. <laughs> for today, you find yourself embiggened, twice as tall. What a normal He's a human. <laughs> you can feel righteous. You can feel righteous flames searing through your body. Yes. I pick up my small little axe. <laughs> the axe ignites. Throw <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> it. Throw my axe at uh, whatever Krampus's face. <laughs> Krampus. Uh, good luck. Uh, you know what? I feel like he should just hit, to be honest. But yeah, I think he automatically hits. See if it's a crit or not. I feel like you should roll to see if it's a crit. No, but I think it's enough. You slam Krampus straight in the face. Uh, you can see his, uh, his, the, his, his face turn to a liquid water, uh, and then steam. He falls to the ground in a bubbling whitish pool of yeast. Yeast? How specific? It's very specific. He's going to be used for the cookies. Uh, mm. bread. He is slain, but you can still hear the, the single bong reverberating. What do you guys do? You're out of, out of initiative order now. I uh, can't do anything. What about I'm the old stuck woman? In my own wi- equipment. I know. I'm, oh, I'm waiting wait, on you guys. I run over to the old woman doing the incantation step. spell. It and fell. I take my um, iron pot full hand. of time. Yeah. 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 I think it fell down. I think it, the staff is gone. Oh, shit. What staff? Huh. His well, staff. The... I take my iron pot of time juice mm-hmm. and I just. I open up the pot and I smash the old woman over the face. <laughs> 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 what the fuck? What, is she evil? You no. Have no. no. <laughs> she was trying to get us Like this over. unconscious 12-year-old you smack her in the face. Smooth. <laughs> well, <laughs> we, all, we all fuck up sometimes. <laughs> you slap the child very hard. All right, let's put this gear back in place. How about we do that? She wakes up. 
screaming in pain. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I thought you were a giant. I'm not very good at this combat thing, even though I was born on the battlefield. <laughs> you have the you have the wheel. Throw it. Put it in. Oh, I'll I'll. I'm gonna do it. I'm jumping in. I'm gonna sacrifice myself. Well, if I, have to. <laughs> I don't think you have to sacrifice yourself. Or can I just gently like caress it? With, like, it's a simple are. job. <laughs> sure. You know what? I think that is just as good. All right. You lean in at just the right. I, I kiss it. <laughs> and when you place the wheel in motion, it is paused for a brief moment. What do you? Do you the wheel is getting ready to resume at normal speed, one to one. While you guys are here, she is starting to wake up. What do you guys do? Who's starting to wake up? The old lady. I roll credits. Is she as old or is she is? She's like 20 now. Oh, okay. Oh. Is she rapidly aging? Or no, she's not rapidly aging anymore. Am I uh, the same age now? I detect no. evil. I'm still 12? She's fine. Oh. <laughs> I just don't trust her. I don't know why. <laughs> I've never seen her in my life. <laughs> so do we have to spin the machine? Hey, you tell me. Yeah. Which it- direction? Uh, clockwise. Clockwise. Clockwise? Yeah. Let's land on that hundred. Oh, no, what do you guys think is going to happen if you do it clockwise? The time will be... Like, very very well, the thing is will stop going counterclockwise, so it'll, like, counteract the counter. <laughs> awesome, like uh, brain melting. <laughs> Let's try it. I don't fucking care. Gil's dumbass. <laughs> <Ashley Man's laughs> so dumbass. Spins that wheel like like the wheel on the Price is Right. All right, yeah. you guys. Get it. Extra You're tall, so tall. <laughs> All right, you guys give it a good long whirl. When everything is all fixed up, uh, you can. Uh, the celestial clock is now moving at its normal speed, one to one. Grandmother falls out, not much of a grandmother anymore, and is immensely thankful. She uh, she is weak, but as you guys help her up, uh, you can tell that she's very happy. Um, she promises an endless stream of gifts and to to repay her debt to you and to the whole world for accidentally letting Mister Claus, uh, the 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 Yarl bad. Uh, almost destroy the world. She promises to every year uh, make it up to the whole world by by finding a way to uh, provide gifts and other. You son of a bitch! <laughs> Yay, you lady son of a bitch! <laughs> it wasn't the whole time. We were just saving Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> really just saving I hate you so much. It was the holiday special. It was the holiday special. Merry Christmas, you motherfuckers. <laughs> it's the not end. July to all anymore. good night. It's all good night. That's the end, guys. Yes. You jumped the shark. Roll credits. <laughs> all right. Bye. I'm Jeremy. <laughs> I'm Joey. I'm Stuffy. I'm Jimmy. <laughs> I'm, <Shaka. Sophie. laughs> I'm Devin. <laughs> this has been Twilight of the Solstice by Goodman Games. Thank you so much. Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas.